any progress with Nick? Uh, he'll do a workout uh, before game with one of the coaches, and uh, but no, no progress from there. He got some treatment this uh, afternoon. Uh, he'll get a little workout in and uh, see how he responds uh, tomorrow morning. So there's a chance he'll play in the next game? He will travel with us. Coach, can you just talk a little bit about Moe's improvement this year? I think he's 12 percentage points better from three than last year, and his defense has been better. What have you seen out of him like growth-wise this year? Yeah, a lot uh, growth-wise. Just, uh, you know, he's in better positioning on the floor, which is, uh, you know, a lot of times half the battle of, of being in the right place and then getting to the right place. And I think he's uh, understanding uh, how important uh, the defensive end of the floor is for us and uh, how he can impact that. Uh, he's definitely improved his three-point shooting. I think he feels comfortable doing that. And he'll continue to work on his ball handling. He'll continue to work on uh, other areas that he can impact the game. But uh, he has improved as a basketball player. Been going back door the other night on the inbounds play. Did that kind of show maybe a little bit of a growth in his basketball IQ? No one to go back door in that situation. I, I just think overall between those two players, between Kyle and Maurice, it was uh, you know just a great play of, of just basketball. At the end of the day, where uh, a coach can't uh, give you all the answers uh, on the floor, you have to use your instincts and, and react to a situation on the floor. And it was good to see two of our young guys react to the situation the right way. But Kyle, um, you know, I mean, if you looked at it, the box score. It really wasn't anything spectacular in that game, but he made a lot of big plays in that game and really contributed to the win. Uh, maybe last year we we wouldn't couldn't have imagined that. It seems like he's really made a lot of overall strides, right? Yeah, he really has. He's come a long way. So, you know, he does a lot of things throughout the course of the game, uh, and, and he's helped us win games this year. Whether it was a timely block shot, uh, a timely rebound. Uh, great defensive possession against Joe Johnson the other night, and uh, his his game has just uh, continued to I don't know to evolve a little bit, and that's just from playing uh, and being on the floor and having that time to to react to situations. Uh, the game has slowed down for him. Uh, there's still some areas where it still will continue to slow down even more. Uh, so, with that being said, we we want to see more growth from Kyle. Is that perhaps a play that he doesn't make as a, a rookie switching out to go out to the three-point line to block a shot? He's Without had... a doubt. It's a play that uh, uh, maybe you know he loses himself in a moment and he doesn't uh, dig into our defensive schemes at the time. So he was aware of our defensive scheme, what we wanted to accomplish. Uh, he does it without fouling. Um, and he, he reacts to the situation. He, he sees it coming. And that's the thing uh, when you talk about the game slowing down. He, he saw the play developing. And that's growth. Transition defense, big key tonight with how quick these guards can get up the floor. <coughs> yeah, without a doubt, because John John's a you know one man fast break. Uh, his ability to get the ball out and push it up the floor, uh, we have to stay in front of him, contain him, and uh, you know make him shoot shots over us. Unfortunately, last time he made those shots, made threes, but uh, uh, we want to keep him in front of us. With how good your guards were playing the other night, have you ever given any thought to like maybe going to a small court? <coughs> I'm sure you probably would have liked to have played Etwan more than you did with as hot as he was shooting. But then again, Aaron and Victor were playing well as well. Yeah, it's interesting. It was a little bit of test of wheels. Uh, I thought Jason tried to kind of uh, dictate what was going on. He went small a little bit, uh, put Joe Johnson at, I guess you could call it four or five. Uh, and so we stayed big for a while, and I think that helped us, whether it was Kyle getting an offensive rebound uh, and a putback, uh, whether it was uh, Dwayne rolling down the lane and them only having one big in the game and him being able to finish at the rim. Uh, so uh, we decided to, to stay big and uh, just decisions you make throughout the course of the game. But I did think about going extremely small, yes. Everyone good? Mm -hmm.